guys, it has been a bit since I have talked to you, as you guys saw from the title. Um, I have COVID. I still currently have COVID as I'm talking right now. I don't know if you can tell my voice, but I've been pretty sick. I will kind of explain everything in this video, but I did just want to make a like update video because it has been so long since I've spoken to you and posted a video. And for that, I am sorry. Um, but some things have just been out of my control, such as getting COVID. So I'll kind of like walk you through everything. Um, also, I'm home alone right now. Yusuf and his mom are out. So if you're wondering why I'm um, with the door open, that's why I've been quarant quarantining in our room alone for days now. So let me backtrack a bit. Um, I flew to Florida on December 23rd. I actually was filming a travel vlog that day. I have some footage I can insert in a second. But yeah, I was filming that day, but I just didn't get enough footage. So I didn't end up posting like a separate travel vlog. But I'll insert that footage here in case you guys want to see. But I'm at the airport. I'm traveling to Orlando today, but I'm alone, so I'm a little embarrassed to film. I'm boarding in like 10 minutes, um, but I'm actually in first class. My dad got me like upgraded first, which is really nice. Um, and I'm definitely gonna get some champagne on the plane. That would be nice. And yeah, I also don't know if you can hear me because the music is so loud, but it is what it is. I should have started this in the car with Yusuf, so I wouldn't be so embarrassed, but now I'm like looking around. <laughs> flying to Florida um, at this point my family had been exposed to why did I say exposed like that they had been exposed to COVID um, but we had from the day I got there even before I got there we were all testing daily just to make sure that we were being safe and we were wearing masks of course like whenever we would whenever we would go out my straw made a weird noise did you not like that sorry yeah we were all testing we were being very careful we weren't even like sharing drinks just in like the slight chance that any of us had it and we weren't testing positive even if we were positive um so we were being just like very cautious and as careful as could possibly be so like stop start looking at me and yeah i was there from the 23rd till the 29th of december spent christmas there and then on the 28th on the day before i was supposed to leave we were on our way home from like a charity thing and I started to have a sore throat and I was like, oh my God, like great, I got COVID. But that wasn't like the first thing that caught to my mind just because I didn't think like sore throat was an initial um, symptom of COVID. Like people always talk about like, the fever and the cough and I didn't have either of those at this point. So I wasn't really thinking COVID, but when we got back to my parents' house, um, I tested just in case they had gotten like a bunch of at-home tests. So I took a test and it was negative. So I was like, all right, I'm good to fly home tomorrow. My flight was like super early morning the next day on the 29th. So come the 29th, the next day I flew home and I like slept the whole flight home. It was an early morning flight, but I usually don't sleep like the whole flight, but I didn't really think anything of it because again, it was an early morning flight. I was tired. Come to think of it now, I probably like, I, I was sleeping so much that probably also was a sign of it. But anyway, sorry, trying to like say this somewhat in chronological order. Got back home to Massachusetts and Yusuf picked me up from the airport. Um, when I got in the car, I took my mask off. I hugged him. Um, we had kissed like once, like a peck. Sorry, weird, but that's kind of important to the story. But yeah, again, didn't think anything of it, got home, and then I was really tired though still, so I came into bed, I took a nap for like hours, like hours and hours. I woke up and I still was feeling so tired, which was definitely weird, and I woke up with a pounding headache. So I was like, all right. My dad had told me when you land, um, or like when you get back to Massachusetts, take a test just the day you get back, just to like be sure, especially because you're gonna be around Yusuf and his mom. So I, Woke up from my nap, I took a test, and it was positive. And I was like, holy crap, I was not expecting it to be positive at all. Um, just because, like, it, I don't know. I mean, I tested negative the day before, and of course, like, you can become positive at any point. And I could have already had it and just been testing negative. Um, 
but yeah it was positive so i immediately put a mask on i like separated myself from yusuf and his mom one of the first things that came to my mind was like oh my god i kissed yusuf so this means he's gonna have it um and i was like damn it like that sucks because especially it's the 29th which meant i knew i was gonna have to spend new year alone in this bedroom which i'll get to in a minute sorry i'm trying to get through this fast but also like just catch up with you guys and let you know what's going on i then took another at home test just to make sure and that one was also positive so at this point i like locked myself in this room yusuf grabbed like a pillow and um went out into the onto the living room and he's been sleeping on the couch ever since so um from that moment on i've been quarantining in this bedroom alone if yusuf ever has to like come in and grab something i'll obviously like keep a distance between us but we'll both wear masks um of course it wasn't ideal that new year's eve was two days later which really stunk but um i celebrated new year's from my bed here yusuf and his mom were in the living room and um i think i have a video actually of like the countdown from 10. and yeah it sucked but um it is what it is it's just what's happening right now i feel like everyone has covid um so yeah that's how it's kind of been so far the first few days of having it were really bad like the first well, like, the day I found out was rough, but then, like, the two following days were really rough. The first, like, full day I knew I had COVID, um, I felt, like, just, like, crappy. I was started to cough, and my fever was pretty bad. I had a really bad headache. But the next day was the worst. I woke up, and I felt like I had gotten hit by a truck or, like, a bus. I don't know. I just felt terrible. My headache was just, like, so bad. I woke up with a pretty bad fever. Or not really bad let's not be dramatic but I woke up with a fever and I was like hot and cold all day and that's when my cough started and I've been like coughing ever since then but then yesterday was the first day I woke up and kind of started feeling like a little bit more like a functioning human and today was the first day I got somewhat ready and put on um like real clothes and did my makeup and stuff so we're on the road to getting better. Hopefully I like got through the worst of it already. Also, I did want to say I am vaccinated. I do have my first two doses of um, Pfizer. I have been waiting, well not waiting, I've been trying to get my booster shot, but it's just been hard, at least like where I live in Massachusetts, to find an appointment. They're all like weeks and weeks and weeks in advance. Um, and because I was going to Florida, I had one for like the day I was supposed to get back and then my flight changed and just like all this stuff so it's been hard to get a booster appointment but I do still plan on getting my booster. I don't really want comments if you're against vaccines. I don't really want your feedback in the comments. I'm gonna be honest. But yeah so that's where we're at. I just wanted to like give you guys some updates. I feel like there were a few other things I wanted to say. Hold on. I actually wrote notes down on my phone because my brain is like a little scattered and I didn't want to forget. Why are you growling? not nice hey stop growling stop yusuf has been like not yusuf <laughs> it's called sully yusuf sully has been like my little buddy because he's been um like keeping me company in the room and he's been like the only thing i'm allowed to touch because like dogs can't like get it or um uh like spread it and so he's been like sleeping in bed with me um, not overnight because he like doesn't really like to for some reason. I don't know. He's weird. But in the morning, every morning, he'll like put his paws up and I'll lift him up on the bed. And then he'll just like lay in bed with me all day. And it's been really cute. I think he like knows. I'm sure, because I'm like laying in bed all day it's, and I don't typically do that, he probably like knows something is up. And I'm pretty sure dogs can like sense that. Yusuf and his mom, as of now, don't have any symptoms. Is it possible that they could end up getting it? Yes, which I would truly, A, feel really bad, but B... Like, that would just suck. Yeah, I'm really hoping they don't get it. We've been keeping our distance. Like, I haven't even, like, come anywhere remotely close to either of them. The thing is, Yusuf and I did kiss, and so he could have gotten it then. But he, like, has the immune system, knock on wood, of... I don't know. Like, the he has such a good immune system. I had mono years ago when we were dating, and we had been kissing, and he didn't even get mono when I had it. So I don't know where like covid lies in terms of like being contagious compared to mono it could be way more contagious i don't know but i'm just saying he has a really good immune system so my fingers are really really crossed that he doesn't get it and that his mom doesn't get it um but you know 
we'll see what happens. Um, we're gonna be testing and stuff. So I hope everyone had a good Christmas. If you celebrate, good holiday and um, a happy new year. I didn't even say happy new year. Welcome to 2022. <laughs> glad I'm starting it off like this uh no I'm just kidding but yeah I hope everyone was able to celebrate with their loved ones and be safe and um everyone's healthy a lot of people are getting COVID right now so just be careful I wouldn't be gathering in large gatherings if I were you but that's your own decision to make I think I'm gonna end this video off here I'm actually gonna go take down the Christmas decorations because we still haven't done that yet but we're gonna do that or I'm gonna do that today while they're gone so that I can like go out in the living room and stuff um, but I think I'm going to film that for a separate video. I just wanted to give you guys some updates in this video. Thank you for sticking around. Again, I'm sorry that there's been no videos lately. I'm really, truly sorry. I hate that. Um, like, out of breath. COVID is no joke, people. Be careful, because I'm vaccinated and it's kicking my butt. So if you're not vaccinated, I can't even, like, imagine. I don't know. I'm not even going to get into that discussion. Anyway, I'm blabbing at this point. Um, thank you guys for sticking around. I hope you guys have... A really good start to your 2022 i hope it's better than mine and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys